and I felt really lucky uh, once I got here and decided I wanted to pursue sports medicine because uh, we just have such a, a broad uh, range of opportunities available. You interview with a lot of different places uh, to find out where you want to train. And when I got, got to speaking to the faculty at Brown, it was really evident that I had a lot of hands-on. Um, I was going to get to do a lot of my own in the operating room, taking care of the athletes and other people that come in and would be able to be on the field and taking care of the athletes directly with them. You get to meet, instead of the sort of generic public patient, high educated, high level, high performing students. That means you have to raise your game. It's a lot harder. They demand a lot more. The families are very connected and bright. It brings out the best in the medical staff. So uniformly in my 27 years here, over 20 years at Brown, the residents and now the fellows love going to Brown. It has to be one of the highlights of their orthopedic experience here. And this exposure we get I think is somewhat unique. Um, we start to cover games independently as a fourth and fifth year resident and we're the, uh, we're the doctor on the sideline. We are explaining and teaching sports medicine. So many of the, the young men and women here are comfortable that we are going to take care of them and do the right thing for them. Brown just keeps reinventing itself. It keeps growing. New people coming in. There's a new dean. There's a new medical school. That whole academic center between the Rhode Island Hospital and Brown is all going to be coming in the future. There is no area that's untouched in the growth of Brown. So this is the golden period, and I think we'll look back on this and say, my God, the lucky people who are at Brown, I'm one of those lucky people. And I can look back and say, there was no limit to what I could do here. And so we're just warming up.